Hello, you're watching Daily News on All News Nigeria. I am Okoyemi Olubemi. Here are the headlines for today. Market women protest rejection of old Naira notes. Buari Emir Phyllis speak on Supreme Court ruling. Kitabi's legal team meets with Heineck. Welcome back. Now the news. A group of market women have protested the rejection of old banknotes by business owners in Lagos. The women seen willing in a yet to be identified community wanted President Mohamed Buhari to address the Supreme Court's ruling on the recirculation of old notes. <laughs> The Supreme Court had ruled that 500 Naira and 1,000 Naira old bank notes be legal tender till December 31, 2023. The Nigerian Bar Association on Monday condemned Buhari's silence on the Apex Court's March 3rd ruling, adding that the controversial cashless policy had brought hardship to Nigerians and the situation has not abated. Reacting Lagos State Governor Babajide Sonwolu said that there is no reason to reject the old notes urging business owners, especially retailers, to accept the old 500 Naira and 1,000 Naira notes in line with the Supreme Court's judgment that the currency remains legal tender until December 31, 2023. Similarly, Ogun State Governor Dakwa Biodun declared that it would not hesitate to close down banks, supermarkets, petrol stations and other business organizations that refuse to accept the old Nera notes. I am hereby sounding a note of warning to every merchant, trader, petrol station, banker that is refusing old Nera notes. If you are reported to me, I will deal with you to the fullest extent of the law. And listen, this is your business. The Supreme Court of Nigeria is the highest court in the land. Supreme Court has ruled that the old notes remain legal tender. Hello. Supreme Court has ruled that the deadline has been moved to December. Abiyad, who made the declaration while addressing people at his Ikpiri Remo residence, said the Supreme Court of Nigeria had ruled that the old Nera notes remain legal tenders until December 31. Meanwhile, President Mohamed Buhari has denied the accusation that he authorized the governor of Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, and the Attorney General of the Federation, AGF, to flout the subsisting ruling of the Supreme Court on the recirculation of old banknotes. Buhari stated that Godwin Emefile and Abubakar Malami, CBN governor and AGF res respectively, were acting on their own without his involvement since the delivery of the ruling by the court on March 3rd. This being his first public statement since the apex court gave his verdict was contained in a statement released on his behalf by Gaba Sheu, his senior special advisor on media on Monday. After 10 days of the Supreme Court's ruling, CBN Governor Godwin Emefile finally bowed to pressure and officially ordered commercial banks to comply with the court's verdict. He also announced that the old 200 Naira, 500 Naira, and 1000 Naira notes would remain legal tender till the end of the year. Finally, on the news, the legal team of the Labour Party and its presidential candidate. Peter Obi on Monday afternoon met with the officials of the Independent National Electoral Commission in Abuja over inspection of electoral materials used for the February 25 presidential election. The head of the legal team, Dr. Lizzie Uzuku, led 60 lawyers into the meeting which was held at the Commission's national headquarters. The INEC chairman, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, assured the Labour Party's legal team that the Commission would provide all the documents is requested for to prosecute his case. 
According to Mahmoud, INEC has nothing to hide. And that's it on the news. You can follow us on all social media platforms displayed on the screen. I am Ophayam Yolubemi. Do have a lovely day.